Hello everybody, today we are going to be making cookies. We right? are going to do some freezer cookies. We're going to make three different recipes. We have oatmeal cookies, snickerdoodles and our chocolate chip cookies. And we are not, we're going to cook maybe a couple of batches, but these are going to be for the freezer. So we're going to cook them unbaked and put them into the freezer and then we'll be able to get them out whenever we need them. Okay, we will start with, what do you want to start with, Lily? I'll start with the snickerdoodles. With the snickerdoodles. We've actually never made snickerdoodles before. That's, this is a new recipe for us. So we're going to do snickerdoodles. I've printed out all the recipes and we will get started. All right, mm -hmm. let's go, Lily. We need one cup of butter. All right. Lily has been so excited about making these videos together. We were on holiday in Europe a few months ago and we started watching this channel where a mum and a daughter cook together quite often. Like the mum is the same age as me and the grandma, I guess, is, you know, obviously older. But she said, mum, can we do that? We can totally do that together. So ever since then, she has been writing lists out and trying to um, organise how we're going to do this little cooking channel that she has wanted to do. But Lily is just the most amazing kid you'll ever meet. She loves to cook, she loves to bake, and she just loves to spend time together doing whatever we do, really. But cooking and baking together is just her absolute favourite thing to do. These Kinder cookies that we had in York, they are really oh, good. Oh, yeah, they were really good. When we were in York, was it Oren got the cookie? Yeah, Oren got the cookie, but he let me have some. Yeah, Oren got a cookie, and it was like the size of his head. Yeah. It was ridiculous. All right, four to five minutes. It's a light and fluffy. That's weird. All right, Al, five minutes is up. It, it looks just like fluffy marshmallows. And what does it say do next, Lily? Add in the eggs and vanilla, and then we've got to mix it some more, I think. Eggs and vanilla. Yep, two All eggs. Right. You want to do the eggs? Yep, I'd love to do the eggs. I might. We can get this little bit off here. All right, so now we have a kid that's going to be vomiting up in his bedroom. So that's, Eva. that's perfect. Woo! All right. You just, it says two teaspoons of vanilla, but we will just measure with our heart. One, two. All right, and two eggs, Lulu. All right, I got these eggs. Excuse me. Eggs from Victoria. Free range Victorian eggs. One. Very good, no shell. I'll keep you on. <laughs> two, perfect. Looks great. All right. And just put it in the bin. Right, we'll mix that till it is just combined. Right, one of the tricks that I have learned for flour, what, do you remember the trick? No, not really. So you don't put too much in because flour gets compacted and it's easy to over measure flour. You do like a few. Mix like, it up. That, so then it's all nice and airy and it's not all compact so you don't accidentally put too much in when you do it and then you just so how much was it one two and three quarters one all right perfect he's going to be a flower scooping genius one day lily one <laughs> oh no, no. now i'll know that's an extra batch it's almost there almost there yep I hope this looks right. If anyone knows how to make sugar snickerdoodles, I hope this looks right. Oh. Good on us. We'll just do the next side. Chocolate chip cookies. All right, these are the ones we always make. You can put whatever you want in them. We're going to do chocolate chips, but you can put like M&M's. Oh, where's Ooh, Dad's where's you... M&M's? I know they are. Dad bought himself like this massive packet of M&M's. Which is fine because he never ever buys himself anything. And I saw this massive pack of M&Ms like sitting on our on our bed. I'm like, where did those M&Ms come from? I thought someone had bought them for him, but no, he'd gone to the supermarket and bought them himself. Like when I say this man doesn't ever buy himself anything, he never 
goes to the shop to buy himself this thing at all. So if he wants a packet of M&M's, he can have a packet of M&M's. Um, I think it was in there of the snacks. Oh, so Lily's gonna like look around and try and find them. We should, yeah. If we can find the M&M's, we'll put some of the peanut M&M's as well. Peanut M&M's. All right, I'll start. Aha. We need to beat the butter and the sugars together. So we have brown sugar, and it's also the same amount of butter. So we'll just use the other half of this block of butter. <laughs> I have so much. I had so much butter in our fridge because I accidentally. Um, when I was doing the online shopping, I put in too much, and so then we had lots of butter, so which is good for using up all these, to making all these cookies. Two, three, and three quarters of a cup of white sugar. Where's the white sugar gone, Lily? Um, I put it over here. How do you measure your three quarters if you don't have a three quarter cup? I used to do it one quarter cup and one half cup, but Lily's been doing it with just three quarter cups and it's actually a lot better. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Oh, I love, this is our new mixer and we love it, especially this thing because it scrapes all the sides. It's life changing. What? And what's his name, Lily? What did you name him? Stanley. Stanley the Stan Mixer. <laughs> love it. All our appliances have names. This over here, our Thermomix, his name is Rufus. And our vacuum cleaner, the, what do you, what do you call it? The robot vacuum, his name is Niles. From the butler and the nanny. Yeah, from the butler and the nanny. We don't have a name for our, our dryer. I feel like our dryer should have a name, <laughs> given the current situation. It's flooding here at the moment. Um, wow. It is currently on Christmas Eve. Was that one? On Christmas no. Eve, we had like a massive storm and we were out of power all Christmas Eve and it didn't come back on until the morning, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning. And then on Christmas Day, other people near around us, they lost their power as well. And then it's just been nonstop storms so. ever since. And there's still people without power from like Christmas Eve, which is really hard and now the rain has just not let up and it has been storming and raining non-stop um hopefully dad can get home because some of the roads are closed from flooding let's see oh yeah it looks good it looks good no, no, no. all right how much of these do you reckon I reckon, I reckon it says two cups of chocolate chips. I think we should do one cup of M&M's and one cup of chocolate chips. Yeah, we can leave that for Dad. He can have that later. Look at your Dad. Yep. Oh, these ones aren't too big, which is nice. They're going to be chunky chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Put in that one. Back on break. Well, we're doing really well, Lily. We're going fast. Yeah, we are. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. We are on to num cookie number three. We're doing oatmeal cookies. Did you know we don't actually call it oatmeal, we call it porridge. <laughs> but we do call it oatmeal cookies. Anyway, we are going to double this recipe so that it's going to make the same amount of all the other ones. All right, again, we need two thirds of white sugar and one and a third of brown sugar. All right, so we need our sugars. You can do the white sugar, I'll do the brown sugar. Yes, Mum? Okay. We're all going to need our third cups. Oh, we don't have a third cup. We have to it. We have we it. do have a third cup. I do. Where, what we oh, use? maybe this one here. Oh, yeah. I found it. Let's see, Mr. All right, how much? Uh, one and a third, so I'm going to need four. Two. Three, four, and mine. I only need two. 
Lily has learned how to do fractions really well from doing baking. Mm -hmm. Now the fraction master. Yeah, great at adding fractions. Two thirds. All right, and that's that together. Where is our thingy, majiggy, majiggy gone? And I'm looking forward to like um, scooping them all out. That will be fun. Yeah. I think, I wonder how much it's going to make. I think at least 24 per recipe, at least. So 24, what's 24 times 3? 48. Mm. Oh, sorry, you already did that. No, it's just not. Two cups of flour and half a teaspoon of baking soda. That's right, that's what I've got. 72, 72, mum. Yeah, 72 cookies. That will be good. <laughs> oh, I What's one, of, one of my friends, she makes, like, she cooks her cookies. Stop doing that. She cooks her cookies and then she puts them into little baggies of how many she needs for her family. And then I think the other ones that are in the fridge, like the Snickerdoodles, I think they might be ready now to be able to go into the fridge. Yeah. Hold on, let me just show the bowl to the camera. All right, I want to show everyone the bowl. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That way. <laughs> All right. Look at this. Deliciousness. All right. Okay. Let's, we'll put that one into the fridge. Mm. And we will tidy up. And by the time we tidy up, it will be time for scooping. Woohoo! To the rolling stage. All right, do you want to scoop and I will? Sure, I'll, I'll scoop for you. And I think you just roll these snickerdoodles in like cinnamon sugar. I can't wait we've to We've been try. discussing, tell people what we've been discussing. Um, we've been discussing why we don't, why do we don't eat other birds' eggs. Yeah, why don't stuff. we eat other birds' eggs? Like why don't we eat magpies' eggs or pigeons' eggs? Maybe we do, maybe they're too small. Ooh. We're also just thinking like, who decided to eat eggs in the first place? It's kind of gross. Sometimes it's best not to think too hard about what you're eating. There's only a couple of them that they were very, very good and we liked them very much. Um, some of our oatmeal cookies didn't, they spread like too much, but I think that's because the batter was super, super hot. I think once we like, like this one here is much better. It has been cooled down. 
Uh, it had been in the fridge a little bit longer. And these cookies were made. Anyway, long story yeah. short, we have 150 cookies. We probably have about how many in the freezer? Um, Maybe like 135 cookies probably, in the freezer, yeah. given how much we have made. Um, and that should last us a little while, I hope. Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite cookie bean, Lily? I really like the Snickerdoodle. I think I like them most because they have a cool name. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And Dad wasn't sad about his M&M ones. Yeah. yeah. I'll bring him one. There you go. You want to show? Maybe Lily will show you up front like what they look like. Alright. And you and you. Oh, yep. that one's a good one. Yep. There you go. So, Here she comes. Here she comes. So this mm -hmm. is a chocolate chip cookie. It's going to have M&M's in it. Um, this is our oatmeal cookie. It should be delicious. And a snickerdoodle. I'm not sure what happened to <gasps> the top. Though. I think it's supposed to be like that. Like mm. da -da. Yeah. Well, there we are. Alright, All right. cookies. Get we'll put our, our recipes in the, <laughs> in the thing down the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Dad is doing funny dancing with his booty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we will see you next time. Bye! Count the <laughs> bacon to pieces. Yeah. Um, I'll go with orange one.